Hi, my name is Jay from Amino Z, and today we are reviewing the Vital All in One. This is a greens product, and it's one of the most popular greens products on the Australian market today. So let's get straight into it and see why is it so popular and where does it fall short? So starting off with the ingredients, this product has over 78 ingredients. It says on the front here, 78 vital ingredients. I've counted 80 on the nutritional information. So uh, let's just pull up the nutritional information on your screen right now. You can see all the ingredients that are listed there, everything from veggies and fruits right through to vitamins and minerals, prebiotics, probiotics, herbs, and everything in between. So what's good and what's not so good about this? What I really like is that it's a multivitamin in a powder form. Uh, the, the vitamins and the minerals are essentially the same composition as your typical multivitamin product. So this actually works quite well if you are looking for just something to supplement a pretty well-balanced, healthy diet. On the flip side, because there are so many ingredients in this product, there's so little of everything else. Vitamin and minerals, you typically take them in pretty trace amounts. But when you consider that they've got fruits and vegetables in there, um, in a 10 gram serve, you're getting 200 milligrams of apple. That's 0.2 grams of apple, when a typical apple is 70 to 100 grams. So it's minuscule, almost negligible. If you just eat an apple, rather than having this, you're going to get a lot more a lot more nutrition out of it. Um, same with a lot of the fruits and veggies. The total fruits and veggies only add up to a few grams per 10 gram serve. So it's not so much a replacement product for your fruits and veggies throughout the day. If we also look at other products, uh, other ingredients in the mix, there's 14 billion probiotics. Now in a typical probiotic formula, you generally expect to get about 30 to 50 billion per serve. So it is a little bit less, and that's what you get when you try and cram everything into this one formulation. You're not gonna get enough of anything, really. So where does this place the vital all-in-one? In my opinion, it's a very good multivitamin formula. It's a very similar um, makeup to the typical tablet that you would take. This certainly doesn't replace a healthy diet, but it can be used to supplement a well-balanced diet. Now, in terms of the other ingredients, some other things I did want to point out, they've got a bunch of organic ingredients in here. Now, out of 80 of the ingredients, we've got about 10% of those ingredients are organic. Um, now, it's worth noting, not everything can be certified as organic in this product, but at the same time, everything that could be certified as organic is not certified. For this particular category of product, I would expect more organic ingredients because generally consumers will expect more organics in a greens or a healthy formulation product. The other thing that they haven't done is the genetically modified status of this product. We don't know if it's non-GMO or not. They don't specify it on the label. On the flip side, it is all natural, so it's natural flavoring and natural sweetening. So they've got uh, stevia and monk fruit extract. Both of those account for the sweetness. There's no sugar added in there. So that's a big plus. Um, now, overall, if we're looking at the ingredients, I would rate this pretty highly. It's not trying to be a replacement for a healthy diet. But at the same time, there are a, little few, a few little tweaks that they could make. So I'm giving, giving this an eight out of 10 for ingredients. Moving on to the macronutrients, this is a greens formulation. They have got a bunch of whole foods in here as well, which is great. Per serve, you're looking at 37 calories. That's fairly negligible. Um, it's, yeah, 37 calories. You've got 1.21 grams of fat, 3.32 grams of carbs, and 2.3 grams of protein per serve. Do note that you've got one gram of protein from the vital pea protein that is included in the 10 gram serve. So all in all, there's no problem with macronutrients. It is what we would expect, so 10 out of 10. So let's move on to the transparency on the label itself. Look, it's really impressive what they've done here. As you can see, on the nutritional label, they've actually listed almost all of the ingredients and their respective amounts. I do have a couple of minor complaints. First of all, 
The extracts are the equivalent uh, the extract equivalent amounts, not the actual amount. So it makes it very difficult for us to determine how much of this product is flavoring and sweetening and how much is the actual, uh, are the actual active ingredients in there. Um, the other thing is they haven't listed the amount of papain in there and they obviously they haven't listed the amount of flavoring and the sweeteners that have been used. So overall, it is very transparent. You usually don't expect to see a full listing down to the milligram of all of the constituents in an actual greens formulation. I do have one other qualm with this particular product. And that's on the front here. They state 78 vital ingredients. I've counted 80. So I've got two queries here. First of all, which two of those ingredients are not vital? But the second thing is, what are they actually referring to when they refer to vital? Uh, there's two interpretations of this. First of all, it could be in the literal sense. Is it vital as in essential? Um, and I look at the ingredients, I'm like, well, you know what? A lot of these ingredients aren't essential in the literal sense. Like I could go without consuming aloe vera gel and yeah, you know, I can still be very healthy. So I wouldn't consider that to be vital. Uh, and I can also go without consuming pea protein isolate. Like it's not an essential thing. So it kind of leads me to assume that they may be referring to the 78 vital ingredients being the brand itself, as in they are brands of Vital. I think there's a little bit of ambiguity here, and so I do have to take one point off there because I'm just not sure what they're referring to. So for the uh, label transparency, we've got a four out of five. Now finally, on the last thing in the ingredients section, with the directions and the servings, it's all fairly straightforward. You've got two teaspoons, which constitutes approximately 10 grams. Put that into 200 to 300 milligrams of water or juice or milk. That's what they suggest. I don't know about milk. Uh, good luck if you're trying it with milk, but, um, or put it into a smoothie or whatever. So all in all, I think it's fairly straightforward. They just say dissolve it and then drink it. There's no, there's no outlandish claim here. So for the directions and servings, we've got five out of five. Okay, next let's move on to the flavoring and the texture. Number one are the flavor options. Now, unfortunately, this comes in one flavor, green. And it's, you know, like this is very 2000. The product was launched in 2000, according to the label. Back then, you could only expect the green flavor. But nowadays, a lot of the competitors are coming out with your chocolates and your vanillas and different variations or fruity flavors. So this is one area where this particular product does fall down quite a bit, just with a single flavor. Uh, in terms of the actual ranking of it within the greens category, this does actually place the Vital All-in-One at the bottom 40% when it's ranked in, in uh, when we consider the flavor options available. So as a result, we are giving this two out of five. Let's take a look at the flavor of the Vital All-in-One. And traditionally, the greens products category is not all that well performing in flavor. It's usually due to the grassy taste of the spirulina or wheatgrass or whatever other green product is in there. So here's the mixed up product I've put in two tablespoons, sorry, two teaspoons, 10 grams, into 250 milli uh, milliliters of water. And you can see there, it's, it's a fairly dark green color. Okay, so there is definitely a hint of spirulina. You can, you can taste that grassiness. In addition to that, you can taste the notes of the vanilla and also the pineapple, and that's the flavoring that they've added in. I think overall it's, Overall, it's pretty well balanced. The spirulina is only one gram in a 10 gram serve. So being 10% of this formulation, it's only very subtle overall. They've also balanced out the sweetness with a bit of stevia and monk fruit as natural sweeteners. This isn't a sweet formulation by any means, but you can taste a subtle hint of sweetness. I think for a greens product, they've done a really good job here. Greens don't taste good. They don't taste good, but this one is quite pleasant. You're not going to crave it. You're not going to jump out of bed in the morning and go, oh, I can't wait to have my vital all in one, but it's good. It's quite nice. So overall, seven out of 10. So in terms of the texture of this product, it doesn't mix entirely. And if you can just see down here, you can see, hopefully you can see a little bit of sediment down the bottom of that. Um, 
It has got a little bit of a grainy taste and so a few of the ingredients here do not dissolve entirely. You might have to drink it and add in a little bit of water and then consume the rest of it. Uh, if you're putting it in a smoothie or something, you probably won't notice it too much. And I can't say it's too unpleasant, but it doesn't have full dissolvability. So for the texture, we're giving this seven out of 10. So let's move on. What did the customers say? In terms of popularity, this is our most popular greens product within the entire greens category. So it gets full marks. It's in the very top percentile here. It gets five out of five. Next, the rate of repurchase. So how likely are people to repurchase this after they've purchased the first one? It ranks in the top 30% of all greens products. So as a result, this one gets a seven out of 10. Last but not least are user reviews and how happy are people with this particular product? We've got several hundred reviews on this particular product and users on average have rated this at 95%. So overall, we do have a very high level of satisfaction. However, within the greens category, this places it within the top 67% of all greens products. As a result, the calculation comes out at eight out of 10. Now let's move on to the size options. The great thing about the Vital All-in-One is that it comes in five different options. We have 120 grams, 300 grams, 600 grams, one kilo, and it also comes in little travel satchels for convenience. So you can choose if you're a long time greens user, then you can get the one kilo version and you can save a little bit of money that way. In terms of options within the actual category, this outranks all the other products within the greens, typically a greens product will come in one or two sizes, maybe three if you're lucky. So this one gets full marks in, in terms of size options, a full five out of five. Next up is the packaging. This is a really good quality package that it comes in. These are jars, the, the jars are different sizes. It's 100% recycled plastic as well. And I've got no problems with it. It's strong, it's sturdy, it's not going to leak. I do have one problem though, it has no scoop. I don't know why they haven't put a scoop in here. A scoop is so convenient, you can just scoop it rather than having to rummage through your drawer and find a teaspoon. So I have to take a mark off. Four out of five for the package. In terms of the product contents, we have uh, done a few tests. We pulled out a 120 gram size, weighted. It. it came in at 122 grams. So they do actually exceed what they claim on the label. So full marks at 10 out of 10, you are getting what you pay for. Now, finally, value for money. How good value is this product? And if you have looked at greens, you'll probably notice that the Vital All-in-One is right up the top of the category. You are paying a premium for it. In fact, you are paying between $1.57 and $2.36 per serve typically. So that is significantly higher than the remainder of the category. And it does place this product in the bottom 30% when we consider price per serve. But then we also have to consider, well, this product is in a, a subcategory of its own. No other greens product has such a vast array of ingredients available. So is it cheap? No, it's not cheap, but is it expensive? And I would argue, no, it's not overpriced either. You are getting something that is completely different. It is unique to the greens category. They are good quality ingredients. You have some organic ingredients in there. It's all natural as well. So look, all up, we're giving this a six out of 10 for value for money. So summing up, the Vital All-in-One is a very unique product within the greens category. It has a really diverse range of ingredients and it's great for a multivitamin replacement. But do note that because it's got so many ingredients, if you are lacking in a particular area, you may wish to consider a standalone product. In addition to that, the Vital All-in-One is not a replacement for fruits or veggies due to the very small amounts contained within the powder itself. In terms of the taste, the taste is pretty good. The texture is overall pretty good, but there is a little bit of sediment down the bottom so it doesn't fully dissolve. Overall, our customers are generally very happy with this product with an average user score of 95%. And in terms of value for money, it does come in a range of size options and with price point, it is at the very upper end of the category. But having said that, it's also very unique. So it's not your standard greens product. I think it's a fairly fair price. 
When we tally up all of those points, we get 79 out of 100, which ranks it as a very good product and definitely gets my thumbs up.